Hi Girl Boss Beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to continue the Summer 16 Empty Series and going to go and talk about um, the skincare that really got me through the summer. Skincare is re really where I spend the most money, to be honest, is where I feel like most of us should because we want our skin to be really good so that if you don't want to wear makeup, you don't have to be honest. So I focus this summer on brightening my skin. I wanted to have a glow about me even when I wasn't wearing makeup. I, I am continuing to try to clear up my hyperpigmentation. I have, as you can see, hyperpigmentation um, here and I have a mark on my neck and anytime I get a little pimple it becomes a dark mark. Um, a lot of brown skin beauties, I'm sure you can relate to the struggle and it's a lifelong struggle so I really tried to find skincare items that um, cleared up this issue so let me tell you what really got me through I'm gonna start off with something where over the summer I used two jars of the Olu Henriksen truth serum collagen booster this is for vitamin C vitamin C is really great for hyperpigmentation for evening out the skin tone it really can't be beat you I just love 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 this love 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 this I'm trying something new at the moment so after I use these two jars um, or bottles I did not repurchase I'm using the vitamin C oil is by the line Carez I'll let you know how that's working out um, in a future video but these are holy grail the Ola Henriksen line is my favorite skincare line so you'll probably see a lot of items buy them love them not cheap but I will say dish out the dough for Olu Hen Henriksen to keep up with the Olu Henriksen trend I'm gonna go with the invigorating night treatment it is uh, 12 it's an overnight resurfacer 12 sources of alpha hydroxy um, complex it's a gel love this stuff it, it's something that your skin will have to build up to use because I initially wanted to use the Three Little Wonders by um, Olu Henriksen. It comes with this, it comes with the Truth Serum, and then it comes with a, a facial cream. And oh my gosh, this used to sting the mess out of my face because all of the acid and the... Um, 12 sources I don't know where they all come from but it would sting the mess out of my skin I built up the use of um, acids on my face but what this does is it is a chemical exfoliator resurfacer if your face is very textured if you get a lot of bumps uneven skin tone it works wonders at night for breaking down the brown um, spots and clearing up hyperpigmentation I just love this stuff it is I already bought a new bottle I dished out the dough again I'm no this is just wonderful so what I would use in con in conjunction with those items I tried out for the first time the Murad rapid age spot and pigment lightning serum uh, this stuff right here uh, really works I'm not gonna lie it is not cheap um, I'm gonna try to remember how much it costs I'll put it in the description box below but man it was not cheap at all I will dish out the dough for this again though it is the fastest way that I found to break down hyperpigmentation in conjunction with an entire facial system so remember I use this I use this in the day, this at night, and I would use this um, at night or in the day. And, and I just, I use the entire bottle and I noticed a vast improvement in the darkest of dark marks, sunspots, and um, leftover pimples that I had. I mean, this just really, really works. The problem is, is that it has um, hydroconin, 2% hydroconin skin lightener in it. And for that reason, I will only use it six months at a time. So I finished it up in the summer, maybe around June, I finished this up. And so I'm not going to start using this again until January. I trust that hydroconin does not cause cancer, but I'm not trying to give it uh, any chance to be
build up in my system. So after I use one bottle, I'm going to go six months and then I'll use it again. So love, love, love that stuff. One other new item that I tried was the Glam Glow Flash Mud Brightening Treatment. This has five stars on Sephora.com for a reason. You put this on your skin. It is a uh, matte exfoliating and brightening mask. It has granulars in it. I don't know if you could see. Yeah, you see the little particles in it. So there are these rough particles. You put it on your skin and you just rub it in for about two minutes and you leave it on your skin for about 20 minutes as a mask. So it's an exfoliator first and then this mask has all the brightening um, treatments in and I left it on my skin for about 20 to 30 minutes. They say as long as you can stand. So about 20 to 30 minutes. Instant results. Instant. My Probably my favorite new skincare item of 2016. Love this stuff. This, go get you some. You see this glam glow? If you don't like anything else about glam glow, get this. You will be glam and your skin will glow. Glow. Yes. Get it. Talking about glow, I picked up the Pixi Glow Tonic Exfoliating Toner. You see a trend? Told y'all I was all about trying to get glowy, dewy skin, that glow from within. I wanted it naturally. And I picked up the Pixi Glow Tonic. It has 5% glycolic acid aloe vera and ginseng i love this stuff i love the scent um let's see what it smells like it has a like orange <clears throat> scent to it excuse me and it says evens out skin tone for a brighter clearer complexion gently exfoliates to remove dead skin cells revealing healthy glowing skin skin texture looks and feels smoother for all skin types clinically proven results Botanical extra extract soothes sensitive skin, alcohol-free, hypoallergenic. You can use it in the day and the night. Saturate a cotton pad and sweep it across the face. I already bought some more of this. This is my favorite toner. Oh my, I just love this stuff. It really works. And for what I'm looking for, for my skin issues, it's perfect get you some they sell this at target they also sell it online it's an english brand that um target carries here get this it is who loved so i first used this clinique clarifying um lotion it's for combination skin and then they have a two this is for dry combination and i bought a clinique um sonic brush and so i got all of these products to try out with it these I won't purchase again. I just don't think it really did as much for my skin as the Pixi Glow Tonic. So although Clinique is great if you're looking for a regimen to start out with, if you're just getting into skincare, I think Clinique is a wonderful brand to branch into because they have a system for every skin type, which is what you need. No one skin is um, every size you know fits all you need something tailored to your dry dry combination oily acne hyperpigmentation and clinique has a system for you i really love it it's the skincare brand that i probably use the most of in 2016 as we head into the fall and um some things were clear winners and some things were not and this is something that i would not repurchase because I was using so many uh, skin lightening and glowing brightening treatments, I used a lot of um, sunscreen. This Peter Thomas Roth uh, anti-aging defense sunscreen stick. It has SPF 50. I uh, love this stuff. It's so easy to put on. What I noticed about this is that it has, I don't know if I have any more. It comes up. It's so easy to use. You, it's this little stick you have these holes here the sunscreen comes up here I would just wipe it on my face put the cap back on rub it in and then like in a minute I would put my makeup on if I was wearing makeup that day and what I liked about it it's oil free fragrance free paraben free it does not add that ashy white color no shade to my fair skinned beauties but if you're as brown as I am, you do not want that 
white masky sunscreen. I think if you're fair, it kind of just goes into your skin. But if you even have a little tan, um, a golden undertones to your skin, you hate that about sunscreen. But I have to use it because of all the lightning um, products that I use. So this was top notch. I'm using something else right now that I'm thinking I may like and it's cheaper. I think this is like 50 bucks at Sephora. I found it on sale for like 19 but I won't repurchase because the price is really high. <sighs> Let me tell y'all, this Murad Invisiblur Perfecting Shield. I tried out this sunscreen. This is my favorite sunscreen. I was sad when this little sample ran out because I wanted to see how much it cost and this is $60. I was like, is Jesus in the bottle? Why is sunscreen $60? And then I realized it has treatment particles. So it's your skincare, it's your serum, it blurs. So it's your um, makeup primer and then it protects by having SPF broad spectrum 30. Um, Let's be honest, I'm probably going to buy the full size of this. Why? Because it's clear. The reason why I'm not going to buy this again, it goes on just like a serum. It really is invisible. It makes your pores so smooth. When you put your makeup on top of this stuff, you're like, oh, I had a great makeup day. Oh, I had a great makeup day. What did I do? It was this all along. Um, and I'm just... I'm trying to be a cheapo. I'm trying to find something to get instead of this. But really, let's be honest, I'm waiting for a 20% sale at Sephora and I'm going to get this. It's already in the cart. Um, I use the Doctors Dermatologic Formula DDF Brightening Cleanser. It took me forever to finish this cleanser. Oh, it took a long time. I was like, when am I gonna finish? And then I had the nerve to have two bottles of this stuff. It has a strong chemical scent. Ooh, it smells just like chemicals. But it says even skin tone, smooth texture, and I'm a fool, I'm gonna buy it. I These were on sale at Sephora when they were getting rid of the line, when they were gonna stop um, selling it. And I did not think I was gonna like it in the beginning. I used it for a, maybe a a week or so I was like I don't like this it stinks um, it, it doesn't really act like a normal cleanser but after using probably half the bottle I noticed a radiance to my skin that using it as with the other products I used it really did help to do what it said even out my skin tone and smooth the texture and I think this is best for smoothing texture if you have texture on your skin, if it's rough, um, a lot of us with dry skin, we tend to, um, you know, have a textured skin where you can just feel it. Um, I just, I think that was great for that. Just a few more. Just a few more. Um, I also use the Lydia Mondavi Napa Valley Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Divine Day Cream. They, this line, I think it's exclusive to Target. And um, it's in like the really expensive skincare aisle. You know that aisle at Target with all the lights. And it has grapeseed oil in it. Um, grapeseed oil is great for um, smoothing fine lines and wrinkles. It's great for the entire body. I found that this was great if I was not going to use any makeup that day like on a day like today where I'm just kind of in the house but if I was gonna wear makeup I found this to be a tad bit too rich um, for my makeup but is it a great day cream SPF 30 I think it was only 15 bucks and to have SPF 30 um, in a day cream and, and get it for less than 20 bucks is really hard to find um, but I absolutely love this stuff um, I would repurchase it just for makeup free days, but I'm really trying to get through some other things. So right now I'm going to keep the coins on this. I'm so dang clumsy. Makes no sense. Two other things that I got from um, 
Target. I live really close to a Target, and Target is bae. Let's be honest. They have great skincare items. Was the Boots Botanics. I use many items from this line. I don't know what I did with. I must have thrown them away. I had many, many other items to show. But the Mattifying Day Cream and SPF 15, and then the Hydrating Day Cream, which is 81% organic with nourishing rose hip. These I would not repurchase for two different reasons. Okay, let's start. The Hydrating Day Cream, it had no SPF. So I started out with this one. I, I, I didn't even really finish it all up. You could see it's very white. It's thick. Like this. It has a strong lemongrass scent. Like overpowering. It does not dissipate. It stays with you all day. So, I'm just going to use it as a hand cream. Let me show you. You rub this stuff in. And you're like, okay, it's good. But it leaves your skin so slippery that you cannot put any makeup on top of this. And you are left smelling like lemongrass. So, I'm not going to buy this anymore. And then secondly, the mattifying day cream. Maybe this should have gone, I can't get the bottle open, in the what I dislike so much that I'm not going to use up. But it's not like I just really disliked it. I just found it ineffective, really. So there was no hate about the product. It was just, eh, it's not good enough for me. Um, and I'm not going to keep using something that's not good enough. And then I think I had it for a while and it hit expiration. Um, yeah, it hit, hit expiration this summer. So I just decided mm, we're going to stop using it. Um, but it did not mattify. And SPF 15 is not strong enough for me and the products that I was using. So will not repurchase. The Neutrogena Naturals Purifying Pore Scrub, I will not repurchase because my skin is too textured for this. I found it ineffective. And so I like a more granular um, purifying pore scrub. I have rather large pores. I need something that's really going to get in there and clean out those pores and make them appear smaller. And this did not do that. So I will not repurchase this. Love this line, not this product. And it took forever to use up too. Oh my goodness. I was like, please just make it stop. Last but not least, um, I used the Lassitan, um Pivion Sublime Perfecting Cream. It's with peony extract. So let me tell you the lowdown on this. Last year, I bought the Sephora Favorites. I still have it. This was a, such a pretty box. The Power of the Petal. You can see I got a small size of this. I plan on doing a review of this um, if I remember. But yeah, I got a small size. And I used this one night just you know put it on my face nothing special and I woke up the next day and was like holy moly why I look this good Jesus were you in the bottle it was like my face had been touched in a special special glowing way I loved it I loved it I loved it and I ran out and you saw the small size that they gave me in the Sephora favorites. I ran out and got the full size of this. Now, I'm using uh, another day cream right now, so I didn't repurchase it, but I highly recommend this. Highly recommend this. It's a great hydrator, and I would put my makeup on top of it. My issue, it had no SPF. So I found that I wasn't using it as much and then I would use it at night. Um, so that is all of the skincare empties that I use this summer. And I can say it all of these, you may say that is too much for one face girl, but it did wonders for my skin. I have no regrets. I actually found lots and lots of products that I loved. One, the Murad. I already knew I love that this, but I'm going to keep, you know, using this. 
this um as soon as sephora sends me the vib rouge coupon it's gonna get bought um i love this new holy grail brightening mask this glam glow gosh i love this stuff oh my gosh um the pixie glow these were the winners of the summer like i feel like they really got my skin together and of course this the invigorating night treatment gel um they're the winners i say bravo i love skincare more than makeup probably and i would recommend that everyone finds a regimen and use it so that you can stop trying to cover up the problem you can fix the problem um so that's the end of this video please comment like subscribe i would love to hear i know lots of people comment um afterwards or go to my instagram i am on the ground at stacy underscore elaine um and just like comment subscribe please show me some encouragement as we continue through this series the summer 16 empties skincare um next up body products body see you later